I figured I'd answer a few questions just while I'm eating my breakfast. I am sick. I apologize if the audio is not great and my voice does not sound very well. The education system in Georgia. I have been studying now in Georgia since the beginning of last year, around April, after I transferred out from Ukraine. And I will say that I really, really enjoy the education system here in Georgia as opposed to back in Ukraine. Granted that my time in Ukraine was largely during the COVID pandemic. So, so my um, studies were very hybrid as everyone else was. A lot of online learning and very limited hospital exposure because of the pandemic. But I really love the structure of the lectures here. I love the way they teach the information. I really enjoy that they do a lot of clinical skills, especially at the clinical labs and stuff like that, which I didn't have when I was in Ukraine. And then also, I really like the fact that each rotation is at a different hospital. So you get to experience different parts of healthcare throughout Georgia, which is quite cool. And I also find that the teachers are very hands-on. So if you are willing to learn, they're willing to teach you. There's actually a lot of students who make friends with the lecturers and end up doing night shifts with them and do extra experience in the hospitals. I know a lot of nursing students, well, students who were nurses on our studying medicine, they um, actually do shifts at the hospitals as nurses and they get paid and they um, get extra experience. So I really like the education system here. Obviously coming from South Africa, it's non-comparable to South African medicine. Everyone knows if you're an IMG student or if you have done a rotation in South Africa as an international student, you know how amazing our hands-on clinical practice is. And that's why so many international students come to internships in South Africa. So. I've made a point of every single summer when I come home, I do an internship or observation ship at the hospitals so that I can get that South African medical experience while still having the European education. So I do recommend that if you are an international student, and I know it's not fun to like study <laughs> during your holidays, but I do recommend trying to go back home to South Africa and studying at one of the hospitals. So do a rotation or a module. But the education system in Georgia, I'm really, really happy with it. I really like the testing, like the exam structures. I like that they use a lot of US m &E style questions. And I think there's a very good fair share of like assignments versus oral exams versus practical exams, your OSCE exams versus actual theory exams. The only thing is that I supplement a lot of my practical experience with South African practical experience primarily because nothing is comparable to South African medical experience. I mean I was speaking to a doctor back in South Africa who has just finished his first year internship and we were just talking about like the comparison between like junior doctors in the UK versus junior doctors in South Africa and like how he was watching a day in the life of a junior doctor and they basically just do like bloods, insert IVs, prescribe meds and like paperwork and he was like that's insane because like in South Africa like he put some like 10 to 15 central lines and like delivered 10 babies by himself as a first year doctor. The hands-on practical experience in South Africa is just unmatched but that's not to say that the education in Europe or the rest of the world is not good it's just South Africa's focus is more on clinicals and we have the experiences and the opportunities to work in the government hospitals but yes I'm very happy with the education in Georgia that was really long I'm sorry